you sacrifice a lot for your family. You always seem to be caught in the middle of all of the family disputes, mainly because you are just the person to figure things out for them. You have a very balancing energy about you when it comes to family politics. And this seems to encompass finances, work, play, emotional entanglements and so on. In addition to all of this you have an artistic talent that can't be denied. You have a true appreciation for all things of beauty. You can also be connected with the healing arts on some levels. If you weren't so busy handling family situations, you could probably devote more time to various healing modalities. You have to walk a very thin line when it comes to giving because this can sometimes lead to you giving too much of your time and energy, something you may not see returns to you equally. This can lead to you feeling taken advantage of. Always keep a healthy balance of how much you give others, and how much you take in. Create healthy boundaries and know your limits. You are also very responsible when it comes to paying your debts. You like to be appreciated. The key to a successful life is to focus on your healing abilities. It will help both you and others tremendously. You are a good friend and a faithful companion. You love to be in front of large groups of people talking about something that you believe in. Public speaking is one of your God-given talents. You could also be an entertainer of sorts. Anything that has a creative twist works for you. Your mind is quite penetrating, and you have the ability to delve into some of the most mysterious subjects. Your career should be set up so that something about your job changes frequently, and you get to do a bit of traveling. You like variety and can get depressed if you have to do the same job for a long period of time. You are a bit restless. Sometimes your mind can take on a life of its own and before you know it you're worrying about your finances, your family or your job. When this happens it's always best to get a hold of yourself and do something constructive with your creativity. Your creativity will save you every single time, and help quiet your mind. At some point in your life you may develop an interest in metaphysics, or the more mysterious things in life. This is only natural for you and it shouldn't be avoided. Actually, developing a strong spiritual side will bring a tremendous amount of peace and comfort, especially later in life. In the meantime you want to try as many different things as you possibly can before you commit to any particular belief or faith. You may go through several different relationships before you realize that you suffer from a fear of abandonment. You occasionally have the feeling that someone very close to you has betrayed you, which throws your mind into overdrive and before you know it you're off worrying about something that may or may not be true. Again, a creative outlet will help calm this. Daily affirmations would work very well for you, too. Because you were born under the astrological sign of Aquarius, you can be dependable, impartial, thoughtful, fair, selfless, loyal, independent, interested in others, strong-willed, open-minded, candid, observant, communicative, inventive, idealistic, individualistic, and perfect in every way. But you can also be unemotional, detached, secretive, dogmatic, antisocial, aloof, obstinate, eccentric, insensitive and unpredictable. Here are some suggestions on how you can bring positive change into your life. Treat others with dignity, don't be too original, be a team player, be compassionate towards others, be more interdependent, experience humility, be humble, truly care. Let your emotions out, learn be more bloody sensitive and for God's sake don't take others by surprise all the time. And most importantly, learn to love yourself and others unconditionally.